Hey my kings and queens, welcome back to my channel. If you're tuning in for the first time, I am Ashley Lyons, AKA Ashley B. Deck. And today I'll be giving you guys a start to finish install of the beautiful lace wig that I am modeling here for you. This one comes courtesy of my first wig. And as you guys know, they just have some of the best top quality like top notch wigs and they are all beginner friendly. So you're gonna see that this one was super simple and easy to follow along with. If you're someone who struggles with the whole like pluck the lace and all of that, this is gonna be one for you. And then also for my ladies who like a little bob cut, especially for the holidays and you wanna have that showstopper wig that's gonna get you compliments and people can be like, who do your hair? Where you get your hair done? This is the one for you. This is the one that I get compliments on bobs for me always get me compliments so if you're interested in seeing how I got this look how I installed this wig how I got this minimal baby hair without looking like baby hair keep on watching if you haven't already seen this is their packaging as always and this here my friends is our beauty here Here's a look at the inside construction of the cap. The knots are bleached. It is pre-parted as a side part. And what's so cute about this one is it has an asymmetrical cut. So it'll come down longer on my left side and a little shorter on the right. So it's gonna look like I got a professional custom cut. If I did not mention, she did come with an elastic band that is adjustable and it also has their logo in bowls. It's nice and stretchy and it'll definitely act as a way to keep the wig secured. So this is what the wig looks like on. I love how she's already parted and ready to go for me. As I mentioned, this beautiful cut. Actually, I wanna show this one off, so I'm gonna go ahead and change my shirt so that I can show her off really nicely, and then we'll get right into the styling. Okay, love bugs, this is what the wig looks like on. The parting is perfect, the hairline is perfect, and more importantly, the cut is perfect. It has a nice sheen to it without any, adding any product into it. Um, the cut, I don't know, I just love everything about this one. So here, I was just kind of planning out what I was gonna do with this one. Before I even go ahead and start to install, my sideburns tend to get in the way horribly. So I'm gonna take some edge control, and this is just a little beeswax, and I'm gonna clean up my own personal edges slick them down and tuck them behind the ear this is gonna make for an easy clean install and making sure that my own hair again and hairline doesn't get snagged in with the adhesive as I bond the wig down make sure you do this on both sides if your hairline in the center and then in the front protrudes out beyond your wig cap like most people's do you would also want to do that there for me personally you know I got a big forehead so mine sits far back enough that I don't have to do it in the center now we're going to return the wig to our head Okay, next step for us is gonna to be to go ahead and fix up the parting. I like how the parting is positioned. Typically, I would go for a deeper side part, but I was definitely happy and okay with the way this one was, so I left it as is. And then I kind of just got on Instagram and did a before. I wanna get more active on Instagram with my hair tutorials. I feel like I do so many and I do so well at them that I should start incorporating them over on TikTok as well as Instagram. So I went into my drawer and got more clips because I had ran out it's important to push the hair completely back and out of the way when bonding the wig down this is going to give for a more clean install i'm also going to go ahead and remove all the excess lace around the ears any of the wig that covers the ear covers the ears i'm so sorry needs to be cut off so that the wig fits super flat and flush around the entire head and then I was kind of trying on for size and making sure I like the way it's going to look and then I decided I wanted to do something with the little sideburns hanging and I love the way that looked. Be sure to pull when you cut the lace there's going to be extra hair that will shed kind of pull at that area where you cut to get all of that out. 
moving and grooving, enjoying my Herbalife shake. I've definitely been on Herbalife for going on two weeks, about a week and a half, and I am completely in love. I've gotten the hang of it. Um, keto just had me on a roller coaster, and I finally found something that I've been able to follow and be strict with, especially with the meal guide provided from my coach. If you're interested in joining me on this journey, I will have an email address linked in the description box. I'm thinking about becoming a distributor just because I know that I'm going to stick to this journey and lose this good old 30 pounds. So if you want to get on this journey with me, let me know by either commenting or um, again, follow the email and just say, hey, I want more information. While I'm rambling about my new health journey, I'm also installing the wig. I went ahead and added a non-glue adhesive to the center of the head, blow dried it on a cool setting until it was dry. Now I'm showing you how pre-plucked this wig came by parting it out and you've seen how beautiful that hairline will sit. I'm gonna cut the excess lace off where the wig is already bonded down. Now again, we only did the center so far, so I'm gonna work on the side as well and then we will be back to style the hair okay on the third side that left side I'm gonna do something different I'm gonna go back to my original style of doing things which is pretty much gonna cut the lace off first then add the adhesive for this side, I did add two different types of adhesive, the liquid gold as well as the spray. I'll have both listed in the description box. I kind of let that set and get tacky, and then I blow dry with a cool setting. And then once it gets dry, I go in for like a hot shot and turn the volume on the blow dryer to hot and kind of let that really, 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 really set in. The reason I did that on that side, that's just the way I'm more comfortable. And as you guys can see, it has that little white ring. Whenever I do it the way I did it in the first two sections, it always is like I have to go back in and add more product whereas when I cut the lace off first and then bind it down I never have to go in and add more product and it just is a little bit more of a cleaner install I just like doing different techniques so that I don't get stuck in the rut of doing it one way and of course I want to perfect it in all ways so once all sides are bonded down, it's a great idea to go in and let it set with the elastic band over top. And while that sets naturally, I'm going to go in and perfect the parting. We're going to go in and add our wax stick and we're going to go in with our electric hot comb. You guys know this is my favorite dynamic duo and I'm going to get the hairline and the lace as flat as I possibly can. And don't forget to get the hairline too. kind of go in with the flat iron and make all of that flat and smooth. And this is going to give you the look of like it's growing out of your scalp. Now get a load of how well this hairline, this lace melted into mine. It's like when two becomes one, it looks absolutely beautiful. You don't need baby hair. You don't need to tint the lace. You don't need to add concealer to the parting. It's literally ready to go. I'm going to go in and bump the ends because, you know, it's already straight and beautiful, but you just kind of want to run a flat iron through to kind of fix it because, of course, it was in a, um, you know, 
shipping box and the packaging so you want to make sure you kind of just go in and perfect it and make it look even more smooth be sure to add a heat protectant to yours i'll leave my favorite in the description box and again we're just going to take our time and go in and just continue to straighten it until we get the nice bump and style we want now if everyone's head is shaped different everybody's height is different your shoulders everything the way everything sits on you may be completely different you know than what how it sits on me and you may find that you want to go in and touch it up and maybe cut here and there that is obviously an option for you i personally feel like it came ready to go for me and i didn't need to cut anything shorter i didn't wish anything was longer it literally was perfect and the like transition from one side to the other in the back was literally perfect look how it looks on the side so gorgeous okay now i'm a baby hair girl you guys know so i did something a little bit different this one i honestly got from Aaliyah j i like that when i see her on instagram there's these little pieces that go around and kind of like help the hairline to camouflage you know where you can see it and she'll just add little pieces in it it reminds you of like when you get your natural hair done and you wrap it at night when you wake up and you take it out of the scarf in the morning little pieces of baby hair naturally will fall the way they naturally grow and i kind of wanted to give that vibe more than I did baby hair this is one of the first times I've actually done this before on myself and I absolutely love the way it came out this wig and this lace was so good I honestly did not need um, anything in the hairline at all and I didn't want to disturb how natural it looks by adding majority of the time I will add concealer to the parting but it's not needed every time but it's also very hard to find a company a wig that you don't need it at all and of course my wig my first wigs had my back right there but I did go ahead and add the powder to the parting mainly because of course my hairline I have makeup on so I wanted it to blend with the skin my skin tone as well as my makeup and this did the trick okay love buds we are officially done with this look and i'm absolutely pleased so this one as i mentioned is a asymmetrical bob very 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 beautiful the cut is perfect the texture of the hair literally has so much bounce to it it definitely gives salon vibes your favorite instagram influencer installed this one for you and gave you life and as you guys can see minimal work was needed to achieve this look i literally was able to just bond it down cut off the excess lace my only trick was that i did use the elastic band to kind of melt it even more into my hairline and that was it i just went ahead and ran the flat iron through it a little bit i did also add a little powder to the hairline just because you know when you're installing a wig and you already have on makeup it kind of will um your makeup will move i do have to go in here when I'm done talking to you guys and I'll just buff in or use my foundation brush that I used. I usually will either take that or like the beauty blender. It's still like semi damp and just um, press it into the hairline and this little area right here where the hair is or the skin is missing makeup to make it all blend perfectly. But I love the way this one looks on me. It does, You can't tell really if it's a sew in, if it's a U part wig, if it's a full lace wig, if it's a closure wig. It just looks that amazing where you're definitely going to get compliments. Um, I always say this, but I feel like certain wigs are seasonal or... Um, just look better and go better with different seasons but this one here is a very much a year around i can see myself in my bathing suit with the cover up on in vegas with this one at somebody's pool party i can also see this one with some boots and you know my nice comfy warm sweaters during the winter as well like i said before this is one that you'll definitely give comp you'll get compliments on you know you know your, your body wave and your straight hair that's all great but sometimes it's good to have like a showstopper hairstyle and i feel like for me curly hair and short bobs are what i get the most compliments on so i love that this one looks so professional um so nice and such a great quality cheap never ever 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 is the vibe you get with my first wigs and i also love that i did something semi-different 
you guys know I love baby hair and I can't live without it. It's so hard sometimes to do no baby hair looks just because I love baby hair. Um, so I did something very different as you guys seen where I just took little like specks of hair like barely like three or four pieces. I cut them extremely short like maybe half an inch a quarter inch and just swooped them and it just gave the hairline a little bit of personality without going overboard or doing too much or you know making this look too cheap or ghetto if you will and I love the way that looks I'm definitely gonna do that more often because it's the best of both worlds it gives no baby hair but it steals baby hair and then with the sideburns instead of um, like you know gelling them down using edge control I kind of just let the sideburn area just flow naturally and sucked the rest of the hair be the rest of the hair behind my ear and I love the way that came out as I mentioned, this one did come from my first wig, and you guys know their packaging is always top-notch, great quality. Um, I never find that my boxes and my packaging from them like will fall apart during shipping or anything like that. But in case you don't like to keep your boxes, um, they got you covered to still have storage for your wigs. And so, oh no. So they do give this here, which is pretty much like a sleeve. I had this uh, packaged poorly or stored poorly and some of the ink from this page kind of got on it but I'll be able to use a little water and it'll come right out but this is how I store my wigs especially my my first wig ones I keep them all in their sleeve so I have a space in my closet where they're stacked really nicely and I can just go through and I know which ones are which also they did hook us up with some goodies so you guys know they have this cute little pouch that you usually will get with your package if you choose and you select it and inside are some goodies. I always have some clips on hand, whether I am doing my hair, touching up my hair, traveling, and then of course a rat tail comb, which all is amazing. And this one, they give me something new. I don't know what this is. I don't think I've ever gotten this package, but it's kind of nice and fancy. Uh, okay. So they gave me this wrap, super nice. On this side it says their logo, My First Wigs. But I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go. Be sure to check out My First Wig. I have a link to this wig in the description box as well as details on everything I use to complete this look. Also, don't forget to subscribe. It will help me out so much. I have so much in store for the holidays. I have a new company that I've been working rigorously around the clock to uh, get ready for Black Friday. Also, there's a wig sale going on. Also, there's just so much going on. I don't want to bore you guys, but stay tuned and make sure you are subscribed. Comment and let me know what videos you guys want to see, like topics that you want to see through Vlogmas. I will be doing Vlogmas. I feel like I've tried so many times, so many years to like, um, do the 25 days at least. And I never get through the whole 25 days, you guys. It's just so hard because number one, I feel like within the last, what, five years, three of the Christmases I was pregnant, which is already a lot of pressure. Also, we also also we always host Thanksgiving as well as Christmas at our house so like that week is hectic there's family in town family around from LA coming in um, to spend the time with us so it's just very hard because it's like Thanksgiving so much planning so much decorating and all the stuff that goes behind it pregnant and or breastfeeding uh, Christmas comes I'm pregnant or breastfeeding this is the first year I think I'm not pregnant I think I know I'm not pregnant I'm not breastfeeding we may be hosting at our house but I'm just gonna try a little bit harder to go ahead and uh, stick to it with vlogmas so what I think will work best is if I don't commit to every day being like a strict like all day blog instead there will be like today was a blog Vlogmas, may, Vlogmas day one is an actual vlog. Vlogmas day two is like Fashion Nova Haul or Boohoo or whatever Fenty, whatever clothing companies you guys vote for and want to see me try on. Day three is like behind the scenes of like the Vlogmas intro. Uh, day four is like a DIY family photo shoot. Day five is like a cooking tutorial where I teach you how to make my famous gumbo. Then I'll teach you my famous chili. Like I'll do different recipes in there, try on hauls in there. Um, Christmas shop with me, luxury haul with me, perfume. A lot of people are doing perfume videos and I have so much perfume to talk about that I love so much. So a day will be, you know what I mean? So it's not just straight blogs where I don't know what to talk about. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys are in tune and ready for Vlogmas and the holidays. I'm just ready for the fall, the cold air and, you know, your hot coffee and all of that. So 
I love you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!